how this fucking happened. Video game expo. Check this out. An iPhone. Whoa. Why are Twitch streamers on here pretending like they care about video games? There were like games in GameCube that were like this. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of, uh, uh, what does it remind me of? It reminds me of those like old school GameCube games. You don't play no Aisha Esquire, thank you for the tank of the subs. Damn, he's fucking daggering OTK. What the fuck? Drama! Games, go talk about Johnny Depp's trial or some shit. The only Twitch streamer <laughs> that plays games is Pete Door. He wasn't even on there. I've been playing platformers pretty much every day for the past few years. I love Jump King. I love uh, other platformers. Jump King is really good. And, uh... <laughs> I the oh no! What the fuck? Why is he fucking shitting on him, dude? God damn! That's in one concept image. This was one of the highlights of the show. They're remaking Resident Evil Four. Big drama. Doesn't really need a remake. They're remaking Last of Us One. Definitely doesn't need a remake. I'm Yasuhiro Anpo, director of Resident Evil Four, and I'm Yoshiaki Hirabayashi, producer of Resident Evil Four. This title is a reimagining of Resident Evil Four based on the original 2005 release of Resident Evil 4. Let's take a closer look at Resident Evil 4. The over-the-shoulder camera returns, of course. Look forward to future announcements. That's it? The other big remake <laughs> is Knights of the Old Republic. Don't, oh, okay, okay. There, there, listen, there are avenues that you're not supposed to touch. This is one of them. This is good. This is not a bad thing. I don't know what the fuck Donkey's about to say, but if he's about to talk shit about a fucking KOTOR remake, I'm... I'm going to be at odds with him on this one. Okay? That's like, come on. Some of the stuff is garbage, and then and the remakes are garbage. But, like, KOTOR deserves a remaster. It deserves a remake. It deserves... It, it deserves to be made again. Uh, same with... KOTOR is one of the greatest games of all time. If this generation's nerds also uh, end up uh, playing it and appreciating it, then it's more the merrier. Probably the best Star Wars plot line of all time as well. The Shout original Star Mara's Wars fucking ass. plot line is like super basic. Not even a big fan of that shit. Kotor, on the other hand, actually cool, actually chill, actually the greatest fucking, uh, you know, Star Wars plot line of all time. Um, and not only that, but also uh, other games that deserve remakes. Metal Gear Solid uh, 1 through 3. Okay, straight up. Metal Gear Solid 1 two and three absolutely fucking deserve a remaster remake wh whichever one is the one that they don't just like add new fucking shaders and like fully make the new game uh those games deserve it they're not going to get it unfortunately because of fucking konami uh being uh you know pieces of shit uh, uh what is it like claw game gamba fucking supporters like gamba has destroyed konami i think uh And, and, uh, Pachinko, yeah. Pachinko fucking, uh, has destroyed Konami. Like, why the fuck would they ever make a video game when they have Gamba? Gamba is destroying Twitch as a platform. Gamba is great, man. It's awesome. Anyway, love that. Uh, I'm the villain, though. Uh, but, having said that, uh, you know, it would be cool. It would be cool if we had, uh had this remake All right, now let's this see. game is old older than you remember people who played this back on the original xbox still consider it to be one of the best star wars games and it's mostly because it has hk 47 who was a funnier character than they've ever had before in star wars there's also star wars eclipse from the guys who made heavy rain oh he didn't say anything bad okay respect okay he knows donkey knows your vast experience hasn't prevented eight victims from being murdered. Fucking asshole! This studio is great at making unintentional comedies, and I do not understand how they got the Star Wars license. It's kind of like if they let Tetsuya Nomura make a Disney game. Wait, what? Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm actually going to play this. In the 90s, Square that was doesn't famous look bad for at all. its dedication that looks good. to storytelling in video games. Today, Square Enix is famous for its dedication to the worst storytelling in video games. Chaos Man was so dumb it was funny. Octopath was soulless. Final Fantasy XV, you had to watch a movie to get the story. Dragon Quest.
Well, I like Dragon Quest. Final Fantasy VII Remake took a story that actually worked and butchered it. Square Enix is so creative, they named their studio Creative Business Unit 3. And yet, even by the abysmally low standards of Square Enix, Kingdom Hearts 